Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's K-Rod here. I'm back with another good video for today. Um, I'm going to be talking about uh, the recent uh, female belt that's going to be coming up pretty soon between uh, Jessica Camara and uh, Kaylee Reese. Um, I'm going to drop my thoughts on it. For those of you that don't know, this is a 140-pound female uh, unification bout. This is a road to undisputed, you know, uh, previewed on DAZN. For those of you that don't know, Kaylee Reese, she is 18 and 7 and 1, the beautiful queen. She is uh, the current WBA, IBO, or IBO female world champion. She had recently defeated Diana Prazak for uh, the world titles, but now uh, she is now going to unify with Jessica Camara for the WBL title. So. It'll be good to see this title be put on the line with her belt. So whoever wins out of this will advance to facing the winner of Mary McGee and Chantal Cameron. So yeah, let's get right to it. Um, Kaylee Reese, she is uh, 35 years old out of Providence, Rhode Island, five foot eight. She, I'm not so sure about her arm reach. I don't know too much about that, but. She fights a super lightweight, very good fighter, very talented in all respects. Um, not, like, you know, she obviously has a good resume, but not the best wins, you know, uh, ever. But she definitely knows how to fight. She knows, you know, what she has to do to get victories. But um, she had recently defeated Diana Prazak, leading to a previous win with Candy Wyatt for the WBA world title. So... She's won two back-to-back -back titles as of recently, uh, but prior to that, she's been fighting uh, Patricia Juarez, Zil Sylvia Zabatos, and Patty Ramirez. Uh, she's basically scored a knockout in her last, uh, like, you know, past fight back in 2018. But as far as uh, other fights in the future or in the past, she's fought uh, Cecilia Brakis, Christina Hammer. Uh, she's fought... Uh, who uh, Marciela Cornejo? That was a that was a you know amazing fight. Uh, you know she fought. Um, who else? Hannah Gabriel, beautiful fight. Christina Hammer once again. Oh sweet. Uh, she's fought. You know Michaela Lauren. That that was an awesome fight. Tori Nelson, good fight. Uh, she like you know she she's definitely fought some really really good fighters. Uh, she also fought Sarah Coon out of Albany. New York, so that uh, that was a good fight on the come up. So yeah, you know she she's definitely had her moments, you know, fighting, and uh, I think uh, everything that she has done for the sport, she is amazing, and uh, I you know respect a lot out of what she's done. Uh, this fight will be a really good you know defining fight for female boxing, not only just for like, the sake of like where things are going for women's boxing, but you know, boxing as a whole is really not doing so well. You know, divisions are getting really weak, and not a lot of people are fighting each other. And uh, it's pretty sad because, you know, the sport itself is really down, you know, downwatered pretty bad. And uh, it's not really going too well for fighters that are trying to make it big in the sport. So it's good that, you know, some of these women are actually going out there and trying to do the best that they can. So... Hopefully we could see more of that in the future. And uh, it would be good to see where things go. So my only uh, thing as far as this unification goes is uh, Jessica Kamara, she was supposed to fight Victoria Bustos, in which Victoria Bustos was supposed to fight Mary McGee. So I guess Mary McGee got the fight with Chantal Cameron. And I don't know what happened with Bustos losing her title i guess maybe it was due to the racist comments that she said towards mary mcgee uh trying to be racist towards her over social media but she, i guess she had been stripped or she had vacated for whatever reason and uh yeah jessica Kamara will be next in line to face um you know uh kaylee reese um, how I see this fight playing out, um, I think this fight will definitely go the distance. Um, I don't see either lady knocking each other out. Just because Kaylee Reese, she's a good boxer, puncher. 
but she knows what she has to do in order to win. Uh, Jessica Kamara, she's a great woman. I love watching her fight. She's awesome. Greatest woman out of Canada. Lovely boxing IQ. Has a great, uh, how should I say? She has good ring generalship when she knows how to control a fight. And uh, she definitely knows how to put people in her place when she has pressure, you know, pri priority over her opponents. Um, as far as resume goes, she hasn't really fought that many good people. She got a good win over Heather Hardy. That was a good fight. Uh, she was pounding on her all fight long. But uh, the fight previous to that was Melissa St. Ville, which that was a fight that was pretty difficult to go by. And I was kind of surprised that Melissa won that fight because Jessica, she actually had a pretty bad, uh, how should I say, cut on her head. You know, it was like a really bad head, but that, you know, b you know, blobbed up to a, a bigger bump on her head. But she fought on, she did her thing, and unfortunately, Melissa, she got the victory over her. So she, she is a good fighter. She definitely knows what she's doing in her fights. So um, I think uh, she's, uh, she's grown into her division that she deserves to be in. So I think 140 is a really good weight class for her. She's definitely more aggressive. She lands her punches a lot more, you know, harder. And I think, uh, you know, where she is in her state of her career, this is more like a make or break it type of fight. And I think... Uh, where Kaylee Reese is in her career, she obviously wants to go for Undisputed. And I think, uh, you know, between her and Jessica and Mary and Chantel will definitely promote women's boxing a lot better. So it's good that these fights are, are happening, but I kind of feel like they should be on bigger cards, not just somewhere out, out of nowhere. Just have it in, like, what, Britain or wherever. Um, I think I think it needs to be put on like a bigger stage, like put it on like Showtime or at least put it on top rank. You know, bring it to America. Don't don't keep it overseas because overseas networks are not going to give any shine to anybody over here in the states. So I think like America is like the best spot for boxing to be premiered. Don't have it somewhere it, you know um, in the middle of nowhere that nobody doesn't you know, give two, like, yeah, they give, you know, two shits about, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I had to say, I think this is a good fight, um, let me know what you guys think, I think Kaylee would give Jessica a lot of issues with her boxing talent, but if Jessica, if she hits Kaylee, you know, at certain points of the fight where she can get hurt, and she could possibly give her trouble on the inside, I think Jessica might come out on top, but, uh, Either way, I have this a 50-50 matchup. I don't really know who would win this fight. But either way, let me know what you guys think. Um, I will catch you guys later. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated with more news. So, thank you guys. Peace out. Bye.